Hello everyone, welcome back to Fujisan Junior's weekly recap. Today I wanted to just go over what happened this week. And yeah, we're finally in July, new month. It's getting hotter and hotter. Unfortunately, it's the summer, so we can't really complain about that. So this week I actually traveled, but before that, um, July 1st, I don't know what I did July 1st, honestly. I forgot what I did, but July 2nd, I, uh, no, actually I went to New York on July 1st, got there at night, met up with one of my friends. Um, yeah, we haven't seen each other in a while, so we just caught up, just talked about, you know, how we're doing and everything. So that was really fun. Uh, she got me uh, a souvenir from Japan, actually. It's like these Japanese candy called Haichu. I don't know if you guys know about that, but it's my favorite candy in Japan. It's a really good one, so maybe you guys should try it out. I think there's a lot in America as well, but it's it originated in Japan, so I asked her if she can get me some. Yeah, she has. She she got me that. You know, it was her birthday, July 5th, so I got her like a nice dinner for her because happy early birthday, and I won't be able to visit her birthday, so I just got her something nice, like a small dinner. But it was good catching up. And July 2nd, I met with my other friend. He's been my boy since middle school i believe yeah middle school and you know we just talked we went to this um izakaya place in new york which had really cheap food and really cheap drinks so it was good just catching up you know just talking we went to this uh river place and you know, yeah no, it was fun it was a good time i honestly think um we could spend more time but we were both tired and yeah, just nothing really happened besides that, but it was nice. It's good catching up with friends from Japan because I don't get to usually see them that often since I live in Connecticut. So it's good catching up with people. And July 3rd was when I went to Nashville. That's my first time. That's like my trips that I've been talking about that I try to go to different states per, per month. And this week or this month, I went to Nashville. Never been there, but went there to celebrate 4th of July and just like explore the country vibes. Yeah, it was, no, it was really fun, honestly. Um, it was very hot, hotter than Connecticut, unfortunately. Very humid as well, so I was sweating the entire time. But yeah, the first day when we landed, um, what do we do? I walked around the the bar strip with all the different bars and all the country music that's been playing. Went to a food hall where they had like a lot of different vendors, had fried chicken, cause Nashville's known for their fried chicken apparently. And also had tacos, actually nachos, we had nachos, but that was really good. They had a live band as well. So it was nice eating food while listening to some live country music. And that night, yeah, just walked around the strip cause it, you know, people have been telling me that the whole strip is where I should visit if I'm going there, you know, with all the live, the live music and everything. It was a great vibe. Didn't go, didn't go inside any bar that day. Tried a cowboy hat. I look pretty good in it, not gonna lie. But the cowboy boots I've tried, yeah, no, I, I, I it did not go well. But the cowboy hat, yeah, I could have bought one, but honestly, I don't want to be one of those like touristy people just wearing a cowboy hat walking around. So I decided not to buy one. But that was Wednesday. Thursday was July 4th, so we went to this hotel in the morning. There's this like hotel that's like really popular, the Gaylord Opry House or Opry Hotel, something like that. But it was beautiful inside. They had like a, it's like a little villa of its own. And they just had a lot of things, you know, great to explore, never been there. So it was good for me to just look around, explore more of Tennessee. Um, at night, watched the fireworks, oh, and it was beautiful. Like, the fireworks that I've seen before, nothing compares to the one I saw in Nashville. Uh, before that, there was a concert going on, Music Life, I think it was called, where they were just like playing like country music in like, front of like all these people before the f fireworks. And yeah, honestly, it was a vibe, not gonna lie. There's a lot of people, so it's really hot. But no, it was, it was nice listening to live country music in front of, you no, know, and with like all these people around, you know, it just felt like a free concert. So it was good, it's good vibes. The, yeah, the fireworks though, they had a drone show as well. So they had like drones, like fine. 
they show like a, you know like the U.S. flag. They had like different like Star Wars like animation as well. They also had the different army, navy, military, all of that shown as well, just to appreciate their work, I guess, for independence. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure, but yeah, I think that's why. And the fireworks, yeah, they just shot so many fireworks ahead. I think it was like around 30, 40 minutes, but yeah, every second was beautiful with all the show and the fireworks. It was definitely a vibe. I enjoyed it a lot. It was beautiful. I, t I took a lot of videos and sent it to my parents because they don't get to see fireworks like that in Japan. So it was, yeah, it was awesome. It was really fun. I enjoyed that. July 5th, uh, we were just tired, just slept in. I was watching the Euros. I don't know if you guys keep up with the Euros. It's like soccer, like European soccer, where all the nations in Europe try to clash and try to win the tournament. But I am a big Portugal fan, so I was hoping that Cristiano Ronaldo and the Portuguese team win, win against France. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. They lost in penalty, which really broke my heart, not gonna lie, because it was Cristiano Ronaldo's last European tournament, or Euros. So it was sad seeing him and the Portugal national team just get out or knocked out by France. Honestly, it was a boring game, not gonna lie. It was 0 0. No one, could have, no one scored. And Portugal had their chances. France had their chances. They just couldn't convert. And then penalties, it's based on luck. It's pretty much luck, yeah. But unfortunately, they didn't go through. And it was very sad. So at night, actually, yeah, so at night we went to a bar and then had Texas Tennessee barbecue as well. And Tennessee barbecue was actually really good. It's better than the one in Texas. Like the ribs were very tender and it was juicy as well. It wasn't dry at all. And uh, biscuit, brisket as well. Brisket was really nice too. Hmm? Yeah, I think that's it that we got. Yeah, and then like the coleslaw, per usual, you know, just a nice barbecue meal that I had. Honestly, rated 10 out of 10, so. And I also explored Vanderbilt University. It's a pretty nice school, pretty small, but honestly, since it was really hot, we just explored like a little bit. Got on scooters as well, the line scooters, I think, or it's like the one with the lift. I think it's called like the bird scooter or something like that. But rode on that, you know, just toured around Tennessee a little more. Went to this like open field or park with like a lot of people. There, a lot of people were playing soccer actually, which was fun to watch. Just these people playing soccer. Nice vibe. Very hot as well, so I was just sweating. But no, it was really good. And then Saturday morning at like 6 a.m. Or actually, no, it was like more like 3 a.m. We had to leave our hotel to go on our 6 a.m. flight. And no, it was good. Nashville was really fun. I enjoyed it. I'll definitely go there again. I don't know if I'll go during the summer because it's too hot, but maybe during like October or maybe like springish, I think it will be a great time for me to go. Maybe next time with like the boys or something, who knows. But yeah, and then I came back to New York and then went back to Connecticut. We met up with one of my friend and he said he wanted to go out. So after traveling like a lot, I decided to go out with him, you know, just celebrate Saturday with him, you know, because what better can I do at home? Nothing much, right? So I just went home, enjoyed my time with him, you know, got some drinks, just like dance and what's up. Came back at like 4 a.m. in the morning, ate some pizza, like the American lifestyle. And yeah, I went to bed this morning, woke up, um, just chill. I was in bed for a while. I had to apply for my visa application for my U.S. Embassy in Japan. I also had to change my address for my driver's license. Was I all had to do like small things and yeah, in the afternoon after going to this like uh, Parkville Market, it's like a small food hall with a lot of different vendors. After that, I just play some basketball. Not the best basketball player, honestly. I'm pretty bad, <laughs> not good at all. But that was fun. You know, I played with my roommate, and that went well. Got two dubs, right, Kyrie? Yep. <laughs> the lucky one. Enjoy. <laughs> a lucky game, but yeah, I got got my two dubs, and yeah, now I'm here recording for my weekly recap. But you know, it was a very productive week. I enjoyed it, met a lot of people, and I think I need to keep my summer like that, so that I don't, I'm not just at home every day because I'll be boring. So if you guys like it, please like and subscribe, 
and I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.